Hey dudes and dudettes, this is how to become a blogging superhero, even if you feel like a mere mortal. Netflix inspired, I am binge watching Arrow now. First season, okay. Second picks up a lot. Third, fabulous. Really getting into it. <clears throat> Which is rare for me. Most of the DC comics show up, not as much into. Marvel guy. Number one, and I believe these are nine tips. And this will help you raise your vibe so you will rock it out, become a blogging superhero. And again, if you feel average, you feel like a mere mortal, you know, oh, I'm not really that special, blah, 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 blah. Stuff works. And evidence is really my life. You know, I've been able to live a, a really charmed, blessed life. I'm very thankful to God. I've been able to tap into some really awesome powers, writing 126 ebooks. And now you can see them on my blog sidebar. I'm starting to list them out slowly but surely. See the shop buttons too? Vibe with them, you know, feel free to check them out. And, uh, you know, living the life, traveling the world with Kelly and seeing Fiji and Bali for months or even years at a time, some of these places. It's really been quite amazing showing up on world famous blogs. So, those are some of my qualifications. Number one, be versus do. Change your being, change your energy, then you do. 99.9% of bloggers try to do before being. Not good. That's what leads to the desperation. You try to manipulate circumstances, outcomes. Bleh. We don't like that. We want to be. Change that energy, then do. Number two. Whoa. Nisley is really testing out those pipes downstairs. Boob two. This is not a perverse thing. B U B T U. Be used by the universe. I believe the quote from Mother Teresa. Or no. Well, maybe not Mother Teresa, but I know. St. Teresa of Lusso, I believe. Mispronouncing it. All my French readers. Whack me with a net noodle. Flog me with a wet noodle. I am a little pencil in the hand of God. The more you go, listen to your intuition, honor your divine pull. Gonna rock it out and be a superhero. Your mind can only figure out so much, guys. Number three, grab a tissue or a pillow. Release unsuperhero life energies beliefs. To become a superhero, to really rock it out, guys, and do amazing things, you're gonna have to clear your really confining, limiting, negative, low energy beliefs. I like doing this with my fingers a lot. I just think it's funny. I don't know. Because again, you can't be a superhero when you're still holding on to all that baggage that says you're crap or you're garbage or you're worth nothing. So you're gonna have to clear that out. And I say pillow or tissue, punch the pillow when you're really angry and upset because you're gonna feel these energies when you're doing your EFT tapping and meditating and all that stuff sometimes. You gotta embrace it. And tissues. You know, you're gonna be crying. And in all seriousness, it's 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 gonna be tough sometimes, you know? It's it's like eating a poop sandwich. You're gonna have to get through it, but when you do well maybe the poop sandwich analogy isn't so great because I don't know, digesting poop, how that's gonna work. But basically guys, you have to embrace the crap within sometimes to clear it out and then the superhero comes out. Because you're letting go of the lower energies, letting go of the baggage. Number four let go well-meaning mentors who see you as average ho-hum speck of dirt. As an average ho-hum speck of dirt. And you know what I mean. Like there are some awesome blob mentors out there that mean well, but they're projecting their limiting beliefs on you and telling you, you know, you're no good. It's an endless struggle. You're going to run into 16,000 obstacles during your career. Nobody cares what you have to say. That's utter BS. I love what you have to say. Tell me, please. So you're going to have to let go of these people and follow people who inspire you, who uplift you. Like, say, a guy who runs Blogging in Paradise. You know, follow my blog, guys. Look at my life. Look how I empower people. Look at someone like Tony Robbins. I mean, an icon. This guy's, like, at the top. Do you think he's worth, like, 400 or 500 million, a half a billion dollars, or whatever it is now? Because he tells people, you know, they're dirt. Or not even so much they're dirt, but that, you know, you're not going to do anything in life uh, for a number of years. You're going to have to kill yourself. It's just going to be total struggle because nobody cares what you have to say. No, all he does is uplifts and inspires people and... That's what you should do, too. And, of course, let go of those folks. But this is how you become a superhero. You help other people see the superhero in themselves before they can maybe see it. Step into the spirit of this affirmation. I do not depend upon peoples or conditions for my prosperity. God is the source of my supply, and God opens amazing channels of unlimited wealth to me now by Catherine Ponder. Just keep repeating that. Step into the spirit of it. The more you focus on God or the universe, you're going to tap into powers that you monkey mind, pretty little mind, which we love. Couldn't possibly understand. Or fathom. Number six, shop here. Then I include a link to bloggingparadise.com. I have an A store. You'll see it promoted occasionally, but you know, you go to my sidebar too. The commercial has been approved by the Blogging Paradise National Committee. It's a stab at political humor. 
But again, guys, it will really help you. You know, check out my ebooks. Scroll through, you know, grab a few. They're fun. Really fun, light reads. Also, have my courses too, which are really amazing. And it kind of just helps you to get into the mind of someone who's done some really cool stuff and who wants you to do the same as far as living your dreams, whatever your dreams are, whether it's just to chill in your hometown, travel the world, have a nice little part time income going on the side, you know, take a couple more trips with your fam. Kind of know what's going on there. So, you know, I share with you through these wonderful products and through my services. Number seven, stop being so darn uptight. I'm not going to curse on this video. Um, some blogs, like I said, it's kind of like the bloggers mean well, but it's almost as pleasant the experience visiting these blogs as it would be to visit a proctologist who used a spike, uses a spiked mace for their examinations. Got to stop watching the Game of Thrones. You know, be you. And I talk about how to find your writing voice is a really good resource, one of my books. It just helps you, when you're being you, let your voice come out. And you relax and you tell your stories. And it's just so much more fun than that really bland stuff. So, guys, let your personality out. When you're being you, you're going to tap into your inner superhero. Number 18 with superheroes, I talk about Donald Merrill, Zach Johnson, Enstein Mookie. These are all fabulous bloggers. They are superhero bloggers with superhero powers. They're phenomenally successful. So comment on their blog, share their stuff, link into them, feature them, and you'll find that your presence will expand far and wide. You'll learn from these icons. And again, it's like Avengers versus, you know, trying to be the lone wolf, even Iron Man. Yeah. Egotistical nut job that I love. As a comic book character. He multiplies his powers when he works with the Avengers. So, you know. And number nine, the most important tip, follow your fun. You guys know by now, I've done everything I've done online. I've been so blessed to experience this because I have fun doing it. You could see by watching the video. This is not like any other video you're going to see online. Not because there's some tremendous, slick production value. You knew that already. But the fact that it's like it's a guy who's just connecting with people, having fun, teaching them basic blogging fundamentals. Where you don't have to be brilliant or phenomenal to be a superhero. You can see that I'm very human. I'm very fallible. Uh, I have no polish really to my work in many regards, but I've lived a really cool life and I've been featured on some of the most famous blogs on earth. There has to be something going on there. And you look at what I've been able to accomplish, but also the life I've been able to live myself, the freedom, and inspire others to do. So have fun. Guys, that's it for today. Show this video all over the place and you know what to do next. Ooh, almost eight minutes. That's fun. But I really had to enjoy... Uh, enjoyable time creating this video because I think we all have that superhero in us and I can see it in you and the more you follow these tips you're gonna get all uncomfortable at times it's okay that's called growth that's called freeing yourself you're gonna find that you're gonna tap into powers you never dreamed you had and uh, again I was an unemployed broke really depressed security guard eight years ago knew how to check ESPN.com and my email there it goes again and look where I'm at now. It's amazing when you follow some basic tips. Got the 5 o'clock shadow coming in. We've got a trim coming up. Share this video with all your buddies. And until next time, you know what to do. Enjoy paradise. Love you guys.